Hello guys, how are you? So I hope you're having a great week. I <laughs> I am tired to be honest. I've had such a stressful week. But it's a Friday and work continues but in a different view. So I am going for um, um how is it called for an ultrasound course like um heart ultrasound. I was going to say issue. <laughs> Heart ultrasound, so I hope that would be fun. And so it's a three days um, course. As a resident, you do get three, no, five, you're entitled to five working days of um, conferences, courses, whatever, however you decide to spend it. So make sure you utilize your five working days of courses, attend conferences. Your hospital pays for it so you don't have to worry about the cost and everything your hospital does pay for it and you're entitled to that so make sure you use you make good use of the time and make sure you learn while you're on your resident residency journey because if you don't do it yourself no one will do it for you so yeah it's been raining all day but the sun is beginning to come out it's beginning to shine and i hope the cars will be really good so i'll take you along with me it's just so you have a feel and you have an idea of how the courses are um, done so i will see you when i get to zolingen <laughs> construction for I think <laughs> two years <laughs> or more but yeah now the bridges are up and hopefully this is done as soon as possible fun today it was amazing like the ultrasound course was great <laughs> I promised I was going to take you along but today wasn't like the best time to make videos and pictures it was day one um, but nevertheless I'll tell you how it went so the course started at 3 p.m. We all sat in this huge room where like we had two instructors for today. They did PowerPoint presentation. We started from like the basic things of heart ultrasound. So um, yeah, the instructors were really nice. They really explained well. And after the theory part, we had time to have some cake and drinks and then we were divided into a group of I think five with five to six persons in each group and then we went into the hospital properly like we went into the different ultrasound rooms and everyone had an instructor or every group had an instructor my instructor was the chief of cardiology of the hospital we did like the course at he was so down to earth, so nice, so patient, so friendly. We basically just chatted with him the whole time and thought was like really, really good. He was really, really good. He sort of reminds me of the chief at the hospital where I currently work at, like the chief of cardiology. Like they are both friendly and they have this fatherly <laughs> care. They, pay, they, they, they have this fatherly attitude, I don't know, but it, like they are both very nice people. So yeah, we did that and then, yeah, before you knew, before you knew it, it was already past 7pm. 
and yeah, I'm back home. I had planned to take a shower, order some food, eat something, and then try to study. But my head hurts so badly. And you know the funny thing? Usually when I travel, I always take like a painkiller with me just in case I need it or if someone else needs it. But this time, I was packing up this money, I'm like, hmm, I take it all the time and I never use it, so I don't need it. And now my head hurts like crazy. But I think I just need to shower and eat some food and I'll be better. So yeah, no studying. I'm going to watch Netflix instead. I'm just going to lie down and watch something. So guys, this is the main entrance. I'm just going to open so you can see the staircase a little bit. You come in and it's a one bedroom. It's a bedroom, one bedroom, or how is it called? Yeah, so it's a bed, a TV, a sitting area, wardrobe like I really like the decor it's really well put together it's simple but really nice like really really nice and two pictures on the wall and the bathroom like it's really clean way cleaner than I expected it would be that's about it. <sighs> Guys, so the food is here, right? And <laughs> they brought it without cutlery. There's no cutlery in the room. I have no idea what to do. Like this is fish with some rice, olives and some salad. Yeah. So guys, <laughs> I went down to see if I could get some cutlery, but it's a service apartment. So I basically checked in with a PIN number and so you have no contact with anyone. You have no contact, zero contact. So I went down to the lounge, there's just the coffee machine, so I just took a cup of chocolate and I'm like you know what <laughs> I have my hands thank God for my hands so I'm basically eating with my hands and I'm kind of enjoying it but for real <laughs> yeah and I feel way better like the headache is gone Hmm, thank you Lord for food, for water, for, for shelter, for everything. <laughs> mm. If you found yourself in this situation, what would you do? Eat with your hands? We have certain dish, dishes or dish. In Nigeria which we eat with our hands it's like fufu and soup but rice hmm not really and salad and olives but yeah it's all good like <laughs> as long as it goes into my stomach right yeah all right guys Tomorrow is another intensive day. Today wasn't that intensive, but tomorrow we have the courses from 9 p.m. until 7 p.m. And then on Sunday from 9, 9 a.m. What am I saying? From 9 a.m. You see, I'm already tired. From 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Tomorrow, which is a Saturday and on Sunday. So fingers crossed, it would be way, 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 way better than it was today. Yeah guys, enough talking, I'll see you tomorrow, as usual, keep your light shining and good night.
wonder if I have enough time to eat, but let's see. So I'm just going to eat this, drink some oranges, and I'm all Love is blinding. So guys, it's a 10 minutes walk, and I'm almost late, so I'm just trying to hurry up. The town is really quiet, and just, oh, it's a Saturday morning, that's why. Cause I'm like, where are all the cars and where are all the people? But yeah. good to be back hey guys home girl is back home i had so much fun like today was awesome we learned so much i feel my brain is filled with so much information but yeah all i need now is practice 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 and i'm sure like i'll be good with heart ultrasounds um yeah they went really well i'm quite impressed it went like really really great we learned so much, like the instructors were really good and yeah, I thought we were going to finish like 4pm so I could at least go around town and just see a little bit more of Zolingen but yeah, we finished at 7pm and you know how it is, like from 6pm it starts getting dark so I wasn't able to do anything, I just got back home not long ago so tomorrow is the last day, 9 to 7 p.m. again, and then I have to be back to work on Monday. So I basically had no time this weekend for myself, but yeah, it's all good. It's part of <laughs> the investments, like personal growth and all that. But yeah, so far I've had fun. Today I'm headache free, I'm good, I'm fine. <laughs> So yeah, I will study. I'm going to go take a shower and then I'll study a bit. Yeah. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. I hope you've had an apple today. <laughs> See you guys. as well as I did even though I struggled out of bed this morning like it was a huge struggle but yeah it's day three it's the last day I'm excited and I hope today will be the best day ever so it's been good better and hopefully today is like best I'm excited I just got my bags packed and I'm going to have breakfast and then I'll head out Good morning, enjoy your breakfast box. Keep it shining like the stars you see above. I want it to be a keep on my side.
doctor. Wait till they saw. Ah uh ah. -uh. Hey, it's plenty. Ah <laughs> uh ah. -uh. You're not looking bad. You're looking sweet, man. Oh my God. Ah uh ah. -uh. Ah uh ah. -uh. Uh uh, see it now. <laughs> I was the cause for you. Eh, yeah. so you can show cardiography any animal, any person, any. Hey God, hey God. But how was it? This is our body. Show cardiography us. <laughs> ah, it was awesome. You know, it was awesome. You know, a lot of things got clearer, you know. Yeah. We've always been seeing funny, funny things on the screen. You know, ah, they go, yeah, what? <laughs> Forget, they go, no. And, uh, let, me, let me do a very quick interview. This oh, is shit. Doctor. What's your son? Let me introduce yourself to us. My name is. Your name is. Adeyemo. 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 We call it. Adeyemo in Yoruba. <laughs> Adeyemo. Adeyemo Jerry. Jerry. Just come and Jerry. So, so how long Jerry. how long have you been in Germany? How long have I been in Germany? Um for six years I think. For you? Yeah, six years. You've been here for six years. Yeah. And what have you what have you done since then? What have I done? Oh my god. What have I done? A lot, a lot, man. <laughs> so what specialty are you doing right now and what year are you in? Okay, um, I mean, internal medicine and gastroenterology, like general medicine. Hey, oh, she. So, <laughs> I mean, my final residency year, so. Next year, this yeah. is your latest consultant. Ah, if you need anything, <laughs> anywhere you are around the world, <laughs> hire him. <laughs> but that's really cool, quite impressive, to be honest. Like, you've done yeah, well we, for we yourself. Just, just, and how will you say the residence in Germany is? Well, um, it's been uh, it's been a roller coaster experience, you know. So it's been very nice, you know. It's been very cool. I don't know how to describe it. You know? Any regrets? Ah, uh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Ash Garnix. Absolutely not. Absolutely okay. Not. Because you know, anybody that is planning to come to Germany, what I would just tell you as the first criteria is just learn know the German language. Because without the German language, you will always be going home depressed. <laughs> true, 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 you know, I can relate. You don't know the, if you don't have a good command of the language of the language, then it's not a good thing. So but if I if you know the language, I can tell you you have a very big advantage. So yeah. every time your colleagues are talking, you can always you can always enter into the conversation. Yeah, you, you can want. express so, yourself. You can express yourself. You'll be able to learn a lot of there are a lot of things you will learn in doing residency in Germany. You know, so there are a lot yeah, of things. Yeah, true. And the so, fact that you're able to order like exactly. without you can order a seat, you just can order exactly. anything you want and you get you it. Get, yeah. So, you'll be able to learn a lot of uh, a lot of practical experiences. You know? Yeah. I mean, guy, you get, you, <laughs> you get, you get. You get. <laughs> well, you have to always, uh, you have, you keep learning till you die, till you breathe your last, as in, you get, breathe your last breath. Yeah. You yeah. Your time. <laughs> so what what's your plan after residency? You're almost done. My plan after residency, oh boy, I don't know, but well, I have no idea. Of course, I'll work as a specialist for mm. one or two years and okay. probably look for an Uber channel somewhere in Germany. you get, definitely. So, you get. Well, yeah, we've done a lot. In yeah, past, you have, past, for you know, real. A lot. But we thank God, we thank God. Like, I'm quite it's impressed. It's our power, the, the grace of God. The grace of God, <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. Like for real, you've done well for yourself. Congratulations in advance for passing your your fac arts profile. <laughs> no, very soon. I know. I know you will pass definitely. And yeah, I wish you. Thank you. I wish you all the best. So, guys, you so if you much. are looking for a specialist in how many months? <laughs> Well, let's say one in almost a year. In one year, okay. In one year, Doctor Jerry is your guy. Well, yeah, he's leading the way for us. <laughs> we are coming behind you. <laughs> All right, no, Alan.
All right. Any words for upcoming doctors or people who plan to come to Germany? Stay what would motivated. you What would you say to them? If you are not motivated, <laughs> In essence, don't give up. <laughs> oh, yeah, just just do your thing. You know, you need to you need to be you need to be intentional about what you want to get. So intentionality matters a lot. Will you recommend Germany Coming as a Germany, place for course, like I residents think. or people who have just graduated med school? Well, just like I said the other time, recommending Germany is uh, for somebody that is ready. And you know that have, you know that that has made a resolution to say, okay, I want to learn a new language. So if you are not a language type that you want to learn a new language, mm. forget German totally. So I won't recommend it for you. So if you are okay. ready to learn a new language, it's not impossible to be able to speak fluently. So, but if you are saying, hey, I don't know, I don't know, it will not help you. So forget. Just focus on those UK, Canada, US, mm. and everything. So. But to come to Germany, I will always say number one criteria: be ready for the language. Yeah. Apart from the language, any challenges? Any challenges? Just well, quickly. The thing is, uh, of course, you have to you have to know your medicine very well. If you are in, if you are good in your medicine, I mean, for medical school, a lot of things we and you have to. I don't know how to say this. You have to because in Germany, actually, you have to learn a lot of things by yourself. I have yes, to say that. Yes. True. So I have to say that you have to learn a lot of things by yourself and you have to show that you are motivated to your bosses so yeah. that you have to show a good impression that you want to learn. Yeah, That's the way they will teach you. Yeah. Because if you are always looking for the next paycheck, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, true. Will, you, will, you will just know that, you will just see that you are just a, a half big doctor at the end of the day. Yeah, so true. you have to be able to learn new things. A lot of things you have to try it on your own. You have to do it on your own. If you have questions, you have to ask every time. But not don't ask the same question every time. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> they will get angry. You get so when yeah. you ask question one or two times, go and read about it. Yeah. So don't. This is some tips. You know, if you want to come to Germany, these are some tips. Yeah. The English is bad. So uh, what well, English? Uh, <laughs> I know. I know the influence. <laughs> I, I know the. Feel. I know the influence of German on your English, <laughs> on on my English, on like if you speak English and you're learning German or you speak yes, German, so, like yes, forget so. it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's actually, but anyways, I, yeah. what I would just say is that anything you want to do is not impossible. You get yeah. it's not impossible. So far, you are motivated, and you know it's not impossible. Actually, oh. to be sincere. So. Thank you so much, and I hope we'll see you again on this channel. No worries. We'll, we'll meet later. <laughs> Guys, I am on my way home, and it's raining like and pouring hard, like heavily. But yeah, in all, the course was good. I had such a great time, and of course, I got to see Jerry <laughs> after a long, 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 long time. I think I saw him at a conference in 2015 or 16 in um, Romania we had like this medical conference as students and yeah so yeah I hope you have enjoyed watching this vlog <laughs> at this point I would say good night and see you next time bye